Lead guitarist of a popular death metal band arrested in a burglary. Investigators say it ended with him charging at a deputy with a knife. And meanwhile, his home a half mile away was on fire with ammunition inside. ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales is learning about this man's bizarre behavior. Isabel. Paul, in the last 20 minutes, they just removed the crime scene tape, allowing people to come back in. Take a look. This right here is the home of Pat O'Brien, the home that burned last night. But the story doesn't end here. Deputies say around the same time of the fire, O'Brien wasn't here, rather a half a mile away, entering the home of a total stranger. This is guitarist Pat O'Brien of the popular death metal band Cannibal Corpse. But he's not center stage today. Instead, he's cuffed. Stay. Appearing before a judge for the first time. Take a look at this incredible video of O'Brien's home in flames on Norwood Drive in Northdale. Neighbors scream as ammo and glass explode. Hillsborough County deputies say two flamethrowers inside made the fire tougher to fight. That was interesting. Uh, I don't know how you get flamethrowers. This morning, six surrounding homes evacuated while the ATF and bomb squad checked out the house. Perry Verleni found out at work and rushed home. A little bit of panic, but I mean, stayed under control. I wasn't trying to freak out because I didn't know what was going on. Near the same time, HCSO got a call of a stranger inside a house just a half a mile away, refusing to leave. According to arrest records, it was O'Brien who pushed a woman inside. The homeowner wouldn't go on camera, but told me he figured O'Brien was hallucinating when he spoke to him about the rapture and claimed someone was after him. That homeowner says O'Brien seemed scared and at one point even hid in the closet. Deputies eventually found O'Brien hiding outside near the home behind a fence and say O'Brien then charged at a deputy with a knife. Deputies unharmed and took him down with a taser. Investigators are working to figure out what started the fire here. As for O'Brien, he faces two felonies, burglary with assault and aggravated assault on law enforcement. Live in Northdale, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.